Well, we're celebrating the sesquicentennial of Purdue University, and the actual sesquicentennial date is May 6th, 2019. That will be 150 years since the governor and the Indiana General Assembly approved uh, the location of what became Purdue University in Tippecanoe County. Uh, John Purdue was often called the founder. He wasn't really the founder. Uh, the, John, the Purdue University was created out of the uh, U.S. Land Grant Act of 1862 and approved by the legislature and the governor. John Purdue was the founding benefactor. He gave the money to get it started. And it all started with a canal. Uh, it's a fascinating story. John Purdue was born in uh, 1802 on Halloween in Pennsylvania, up in the hills uh, north of, of Harrisburg. Uh, he was the, uh, the family was very, very poor. They lived in a very small cabin. He had nine sisters, and uh, he, he had very little schooling. Uh, they had no money. They didn't even own the land they lived on or the cabin they, they, that they lived in. Uh, but he got a little education from his, school, from his sisters, and he went to school a little bit. In, in the 1820s, the whole family moved to Ohio, and John Purdue went off on his own. He became a storekeeper. Uh, he tried farming. He tried various things. Uh, he didn't particularly like farming, but he found something he was good at, making money. He was good at uh, buying land and selling it for a profit. He was good at taking hogs to market and making a profit for himself and everyone else whose, whose hogs he took with him. He was good at running a store and buying and selling things in the store. And he became fairly prosperous. At this time, as we got into the 1820s, 1830s, there was a, what you would call canal fever going on in the United States. The Erie Canal out east from New York City uh, up the Hudson River going over to the Great Lakes uh, was being worked on and completed. And uh, goods could go from Toledo, Ohio on Lake Erie all the way to New York City, but they couldn't go any further west than Toledo. And then plans emerged to have a canal that would connect Toledo to Fort Wayne, Peru, Logansport, Delphi, Lafayette, down to Terre Haute, and eventually on to Evansville. John Purdue knew that was coming. Uh, so he decided he was going to relocate to a city that was about to have a, a huge economic windfall, and that was Lafayette. He came here uh, in the late 1830s, just a couple years before that canal opened, and, and when it opened, it brought him uh, tremendous prosperity. He was able to use that can canal to transport goods all over the, the, the East Coast. Uh, also, a, Lafayette was the furthest north steamboats could navigate on a Wabash. And we would have 20, 30 steamboats parked in, in uh, downtown Lafayette during the summer from New Orleans, Cincinnati, uh, Pittsburgh, all over the place. So this was, it was quite a place, and John Purdue came right on the wave this, of this economic boom, and he made a considerable fortune. The Civil War came, and he spent most of the Civil War in New York City marketing hogs. He made another fortune. He became a very wealthy man. When he returned to Lafayette after the Civil War, that was when Indiana was trying to decide what to do with its land-grant college that it had decided to, to create. <laughs>